Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this let's play of Detroit Become Human. If you are not already caught up with the series, the link to the playlist is right here on the screen and it's also down in the description down below. The last chapter we played was the biggest and longest one so far and definitely the most intense and I'm happy with every single ending that we got. We played as Marcus, Kara, and Connor and I think we did amazing. I'm so happy with it. I have to just keep playing. It's getting so crazy. We're nearing the end, you guys, and I just have to figure out what happens next. So without much further ado, let's continue playing Detroit Become Human. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. He has like so much on his shoulders, man. But I think we've been doing a fantastic job with our decisions. I feel good with my instincts. We're going to keep going with it. Violence will be the absolute last resort. I miss you, Carl. I miss, you too. I miss you so much. I really miss Carl. Fucking Leo, man. I wish we could have punched him. Oh my god, it's the blue haired Tracy! And her girlfriend, I love it. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. just like so much responsibility they say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants so they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination 
In a few hours, we're gonna be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. That's Kara. That's Connor. So let's deal with them last. After this, I want to talk to Kara. Then we'll talk to Connor. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Okay. Good. About time. So many of these androids are in really bad shape. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Oh my goodness, I'm like already tearing up again. It's just... It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. It's okay. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. He turned deviant for us. He has made bad decisions that I made. But we're going to trust him. We have to give him the benefit of the doubt. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance. 
for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I feel like we just continue, we need to continue doing what I said and just avoid violence. If the demonstration proves to be a failure and we have to become violent, we have justification. But right now we have the public opinion supportive. If we start a revolution that can massively deteriorate and then we can just lose everyone at the last second when we need them the most. So I say let's continue doing demonstrations, being peaceful and see what happens. I know. I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? I did not expect that chapter to be so short, but it's okay. I still believe that peaceful demonstrations will give us what we have been fighting for. I think it'll be the right decision. If things start turning badly, then of course we will switch up our strategy. Hopefully it gives us the opportunity to do so, but I feel good about it. So yeah, this was short, too short to call it right now. We're going to keep playing and yeah, let's continue playing Detroit Become Human. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Madam President. Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Madam President! Please. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! Madam President! Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Madam President! I'm just gonna keep asking questions to make her look bad. Please! What 
can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. So annoying. She can choke. Connor model three one three two four eight three one seven. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Alright. So far, so good. Is it gonna get crazy? Absolutely. Look at that tower, man. Hella spirally. It's like the weirdest building I've ever seen. Look like it's like covered in like webbing. I confuse the webs with like it literally being spiral shaped, but it is what it is. It's still interesting architecture. I appreciate it. You. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. They're not taking any chances. It doesn't even matter if it's me. Not to mention Amanda doesn't like us, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Agent 23 identified. thought it stopped, but apparently we're still going. <sighs> I'm literally so hungry, which is making me very tired. But I need to wake the hell up because it is not the time to get sleepy. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. I have to get sub level 49. Awesome, now if we have a pre-construction...
I... Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't want to use my voice because, I mean, they were, they were already suspicious of us, so let's not give them more reason. Back with Kara. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. We can do it. I believe in us. Are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm really cool. We have to hurry up, but we can stop and talk. See, like, I'm wondering... Does Alice know that she's an android? Is she gonna freak out if I acknowledge I know she's an android? I don't know. It's fine, like, in the end, even if she's, like, shivering, like, it's not going to be... We're gonna leave it for now. I feel like this is not the time to like deal with that. I just don't think it's like the time to have that conversation. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so bad. We're gonna have to like hella hide and hella avoid. You better grab that gun, sis. gotten this far. We're going to. I don't care what we have to do. We're gonna make it. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Lucky don't they like rats. Boy, you look the boy you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. It's good to see you. We used to live in this fucking city. Believe me, we are far There are soldiers there. everywhere. We need to be careful. We can. No android left behind, Kara. Okay, let's go. I don't care, we're family. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Get an order to check all civilians. No. No, please! Oh, my God. Fucking androids. Well, we did. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. It's one of the Jerry's. Alice. Luther! I thought you 
were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. God, this is horrible. Turn around, turn around. Go, please. Shit. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. How much time do we have? Oh, we're gonna miss it. We're literally gonna miss it, we have to take it. Oh my god. slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's sick. A bad flu. We just need to get her home. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. I don't know what we could have, like, tipped off. I don't know. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god, man. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Not a giant fan of her right now. Come on, let's go.
Okay, not much we can do. We just gotta march. But see, like, if we were doing this, like, protesting, I mean, we are protesting, like, revolting. Here we are. Who would have been, like, at the mercy of all their bullets right now? Like, they're not doing anything right now because they're just marching. Like, they likely will shoot, but not immediately. I'm just hoping we're buying ourselves time. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. Shit. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our yeah, people are free. Especially because the media is here. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I love this shot. Dude, the symbolism is just... <clears throat> it's a lot. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. <sighs> like, I really wonder if it was possible, like to not kill them and like just incapacitate them but it's too late to find out now I don't really care just curious Spare him. Sorry, Connor. What the hell? This bastard just spit an image. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Dallas. We made it. What do we do? What do we do? What are we going to do? Marcus. God, what 
do we seriously do? Okay, there's something over there. Oh my god, there's security check too. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was Shit, dead. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... I'm sorry. No. Sorry. I don't care. What are we gonna do? Like we don't we're, we, we don't have here? any other chance. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jerry Dick. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Like, we struggled so much. We suffered so much. This is like the quote unquote worst thing we have done as Kara, and it was so close. And I, what else were we gonna do? We were gonna get caught. And I'm not trying to die. I'm not getting to the end of this game. And then die. Will they die because of us? No, they're gonna be fine. No. No, of course not. You can be upset with me as much as you want right now. It's okay. I'm doing what's best for us. I'm protecting us. This is my family. That family will be fine. It's okay. God bless America. God, this chapter is so long. This is going to be a long episode. It's okay. It's fine. Making sure we're still recording. Because that would suck. I keep shaking. I'm stressed. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Get this car. Yeah. Hey, help me. That should do it. They all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. Exactly. I, know I was it's just going to say that. Easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Go. 
run. I hope so. I really hope so. That was like... Send message to journalists. These poor people, what is... We only have so much to do. We have so much to, things to do, I can't... I don't, I also don't know if this is timed, so I'm going to, like, do what's near me, then send a message, then continue if I can. Out. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. I love Marcus. He has a great way of saying what his people need to hear. Oh, hell no. Like, of all times to read right now, no. so much to do, so little time. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Stay consistent. Don't hold on for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. We're trying our best. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. Don't give up now, man. No matter what happens now, we're making history. It's true. They're gonna talk about us. Forever.
you can see something got filled. Yeah, okay, let's just go up here then. They're getting closer. They won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Just checking how long I'm recording. Marcus! Because my camera has a up. limit. Probably. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. You are, but there's like a million people, like, armed. Let's just talk. We're going to make a face. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? <laughs> and that's a chance I'll have to take. Troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. I'm not going to do that. I give you my word, your life will be spared. And You'll my be detained, people. But none of you will be destroyed. Bullshit. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. That's why I don't trust you. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. I love if the I sound mixing. If I give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. It's like it's just us. That android. You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? Now he's threatening us, like, and I'm you supposed know, to listen? You could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. You just say the word and she'll be spared. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. Then why am I going to, like, listen to All you? All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. No, I don't. I don't. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. I don't trust him. <laughs> like, if you can't guarantee what it me, what did like, say? no. Let's get ready, guys. Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh my god! This Your this entire chapter is too much. Too damn much. Most. 
Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? I'm going to save him. All right. All right. You win. Ah, ah. Oh, great. Not the time to get itch on my nose. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. Girl, I don't even know which. <laughs> I don't even know which one it is. Shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. I'm the one on the left. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. Oh my god. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Definitely can do the one with the lock. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. Damn. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Came in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Thank God, my God. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Hmm, I can breathe. I had like so much tension in my chest. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Especially when I first, I messed up that first command. No, ma'am. Thank God we do our research. Wake up! Wake up, 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 God bless. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I was gonna say God bless America, but no. Right now, F America. No. God bless the androids.
All right, back with Kara and Alice. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hello? Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Like, of course we're like randomly selected of all buses. Like, why couldn't we just stay in the line? This way, please. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. Oh my God. Jerry. Next, please. You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. What do I do? Rose? chills again I'm, I'm so stressed out we've come so far it just feels like Where the, the worst oh my god please my daughter needs to go to the bathroom dick I literally have chills up and down my spine Jericho read on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God. It was no like way. literally shortly after. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I? Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. Checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. You're leaving Detroit? 
They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Okay. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. I'm so stressed. literally tearing up. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want anyone to die. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. <laughs> that was nice. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't want any... This is probably gonna be the dumbest idea Next, ever. Please. I just don't want anyone to die. Now we're all gonna die. I'm fucking stupid. ID, please. Welcome to Canada. I was honestly hoping for <laughs> for a good look. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this like time. Like now, I'm thinking about Jerry, and I don't know if he's gonna make it. But like, I didn't want to be the one that says die, you know? Oh, oh my god, oh my god. I'm like not paying attention, I'm still like emotional. Please, 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 please. Like so uncool right now to have me do this. Oh my god, please. Ah! 
go. Come on, come on, come on. Go. I literally did it. Back the hell up. None of us. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on just a little while longer. My heart is beating Fight out of my chest. Just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the the deviants. The deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. <laughs> At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. Good. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Good. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you.
may God bless the United States of America. I am a mess right now. Like a legit mess. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. I wanted to kiss her too, but I felt like it was like a selfish thing to do. And then when I saw Sing, I didn't really know what was going to be entailed, but I had a feeling Today, it was still a moment a that night. could have helped. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Okay, we're still good on time. I, I look away for like two seconds and what is this? My heart is literally beating so hard. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Oh, I hate her. Amanda! Oh, now she poofed. Like Casper the ghost or some shit. There's got to be a way. But no, legit, my heart is beating like so hard. It's like making my table shake. And there's been earthquakes recently in this area. So I keep thinking we, having, we are having an earthquake and it's just literally me being anxious. That's what Kamsi said. Kamski. Oh my god, I, I, I don't want to... Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I... Oh my god, yes! The, the thing that we touched! Tell humans who we really are. And tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. Girl, if you don't get to that damn rock. <sighs> this has to be it. Because when we interacted, like nothing happened. And there's no way that we were exposed to it for no reason. Go, 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 go. Very uncomfortable combination of buttons to be pressing. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors. And tomorrow, oh. we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. I'm still nervous. We are alive. And now we are free. Ah, uh, what a man. 
gorgeous, beautiful. Dude, there's so many. So happy with this ending. <laughs> oh, my God, that's the end. <laughs> Dude, that was so good. I think we did so great. I want to say and hope that that was the true ending of Detroit Become Human. I think we did a fantastic job. It was such a ride. I loved it. It was brilliantly acted, visually gorgeous. I loved the story. I got emotional so many parts throughout this entire playthrough, especially in this final few moments. It was just beautiful. I loved everything about it. Oh my god, it was fantastic. I am going to hang through the end of the credits to see if there's anything placed throughout it, so I will record. I literally was about to get up. <laughs> I love them. I love my initially very dysfunctional duo of people, but we ended up becoming some of the closest friends. Ah, beautiful. I'm gonna do my outro one more time, just in case. That has been Detroit Become Human, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this entire playthrough. If you liked it, don't forget to click the little like button. If you want to see more Let's Plays like this in the future, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to click the little bell notification. You'll be notified whenever I upload new content, and you will be the first person to know about that. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the support. I'll see you next time for the next Let's Play and just on my channel in general. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.